Uber, by the way, I don't know how many of you use Uber, but Uber's making some major changes. As of yesterday, Uber in Seattle, Houston, and Minneapolis have started, they've started allowing riders to tip their drivers with the, using the app, which is good, but I will say, I know people complain, I already had a way to tip my driver. What I would do is I would pull money out of my wallet and <laughs> hand it to that person. Really, it was miraculous. Also yesterday, the CEO of Uber, this guy Travis Kalanick, after months of scandals and declining market share, announced he's stepping down. He's leaving his post as CEO. He told the New York Times, I love Uber more than anything in the world. Which, let's be honest, is too much, even for a CEO. It's, they might, might need to get a restraining order against him. But a change of leadership is just the beginning of a much larger campaign to rebrand Uber and get back to basics. And their new service, I think, does exactly that. At Uber, we've lost the trust of our customers. So we're getting back to basics. Presenting Uber Yellow. Downtown. At Uber Yellow, we know you don't mind paying a little more, even if it means less comfort and safety. With Uber Yellow, there's no need to download a confusing app. Just wave at one of our cars as they pass. How easy is that? Uber Yellow drivers aren't distracted by GPS. Hey, 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 what, what? And with identity theft on the rise, you'll feel safe knowing Uber Yellow takes cash only. Uber Yellow. It's a cab, dumbass. Oh, uh, they, knew, they knew we'd come crawling back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.